All right, as not many people know, I started to do lawn care this year, and I posted a picture of my setup. A lot of people were interested, so I thought I'd do this video today. Uh, so we'll start off with the mowers. For my push mower, I have the Xmark Commercial 30. Uh, I've got it set up for bagging system or mulching, either one. All you have to do is drop the bag with it. I like it pretty good. It's self-filled. Uh, I've got the Kawasaki motor. I believe 18 horse if I'm not mistaken next mower I've got is my Bobcat ZT3500 uh, I bought it this year put the uh, advanced chute on it it's kind of not made for the Bobcat with the mounting if I didn't have leaves there I'd show you but I've been working like crazy uh, again Kawasaki motor everything I've got it's got Kawasaki on it it's 22 horsepower uh, it's been a good mower too i mean I've, I've got hit or miss stuff with it i mean it's like any other commercial mower uh blowers backpack blowers i've got my br400 older blower but it still works just as good i've had to put in the shop once for uh something with the fan going wrong but it's been a good blower uh my echo pb 580t i'd rather run that blower it's it's a lot lighter and it doesn't vibrate as much a lot easier for me to use it than the steel uh my little hand pruner i love this thing it's a steel gta 26 it's like four or six inch i think six inch bar it is it is so nice i, I would highly recommend one of those uh, we'll get all the gas stuff then we'll go to the electric uh chainsaw is a craftsman s180 18 inch bar it runs 40 to 1 that's the only one that's kind of weird for me it runs 40 to 1 mix so i do keep a little 40 to 1 true fuel and i run true fuel when everything that's coming up here i'm changing that i'm going to mix my own uh for my hand blower i keep a spare hand blower in case the backpack blowers don't work uh it's a b2000 great starting blower that's what i actually started my business with uh i've got two combi system heads I had an edger on one of them and it actually broke this year. Uh, this one is a Craftsman WS2400, which is their commercial series. And this one is a WC2200, which is the last of the homeowner uh, edition, residential edition, which they still work good for commercial use. I've ran both of these for a whole year and never had any problems out of them. And uh, this one used to be my weed eater. And then the weed eater head broke on it so i put it as my edger and then the edger head broke on it so it's just some things you got to work around i mean when, be nice to your equipment it'll be nice to you you know uh my x mark pardon me x mark echo srm 2620 x series i'm trying to switch everything over to echo uh, i do have speed feed heads on it and a darwin's grip i would highly recommend a darwin's grip if you are kind of kind of taller statured person it just keeps you having to bend over as much weed eating um battery equipment i have a cobalt 24 volt brushless blower i got it as a combo pack with this weed eater uh i'd rather run this stuff i mean it's a whole heck of a lot lighter and i do have a uh cobalt hedge trimmer as well uh i don't do a whole lot of hedges so i don't have to have a gas hedge trimmer however i do have a pull and pro hedge trimmer if i ever need it it's just in the shop right now uh for my trailer it's a six by 12 enclosed i pull it with a tacoma i have no problems with it other than hills i mean it's just like any other tr heavy trailer with a small truck it's going to be terrible on hills but i don't have any really special racks i mean my weighty racks about the only thing i have but it's a buyer's rack i got it when i uh got the trailer i've got just some little like i keep this stuff in my pocket that's actually the uh, uh i forgot where i got that I, when i got my darwin's grip i got that that's the line i started with so i just have it spare to uh this roll i do not like the round line i'd rather have something with a little bit of cutting edge and it's hollow on the inside i just now noticed that uh i did take a command strip and hang up so i can hang my uh line cutter i would recommend doing that because you're always losing line cutters and stuff uh i also do have a 
edger head for my or edger blade for my edger that I don't have anymore. So, but I am buying another one. Uh, I do have this little. It's pretty cool. It's like an onboard charger for a boat and all my charging stations. It acts the same, but it's a uh, six-way receptacle with the surge protector. You want the surge protector, and I just plug it in at night. Uh, this is where I keep all my power heads and stuff, and keep some sea foam and some stuff to mix my fuel. I do have a small can of 50 to one and some oils and some more sea foam and just some stuff for like cleaning, belt conditioner, stuff like that. Uh, my toolbox full of whatever I'm gonna need in the field, like wrenches, socket stuff. I do have socket set in here. Uh, air filter for the uh, ZT3500. Uh, I do run the scepter cans this year. I'm gonna probably switch over and go to the uh, I forget what the name of no spills, I think. Something like that. Sure cans, that's what they are, sure cans. Uh thing of Roundup. Uh this is kind of cool. This is like miscellaneous stuff. I'd have a craftsman battery in here because I do have a craftsman hedge trimmer too. Uh and it's battery, but it's like an eight-inch bar. So uh business card, speed feed head, some just pocket line to keep in my pocket. Uh this is for my GT or the GTA 26. It's like a it's actual bar oil without, you know, it doesn't, GTA 26 doesn't have a bar oil spot. Uh, safety stuff, some eye wash, because I'm all the time getting stuff in my uh, eyes. So I got eye wash, earplugs, first aid kit, stuff like that. Uh, cooler cone. I do run the angle cooler. It's like a bait box for a boat, but I like it as well for just holding my drinks, man, it keeps it warm, or keeps them cold, I'm sorry. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's just running a milk cooler. Uh, sprayers, I do have one backpack sprayer, it's a Harbor Freight Edition sprayer, but same time, I mean, it works just as good. Uh, little Roundup hand sprayer for just small little areas. Uh, my spare tire, I do have like a little debris bag back behind the spare tire. Uh, I mean, it works great for just like, if I'm doing shrubs and taking them and dumping them on the property, that's what I'll use. Uh, trash bucket, I need to figure out how to mount that to the wall. Machete, this is where I keep my hedge trimmer at. It sits in that rack. Uh, hand tools, yard broom, lopper, square and round shovel, and a extendable pruner. Well, I say extendable, that's not really extendable, it's like a four foot pruner, but it helps. And it does have the saw blade attachment. I have it up here as well, behind my scissors. Uh, and these are my blower racks, so my Echo goes right there and actually runs over to that bungee cord. A tube sits on the bungee cord. And then the steel sits right here backwards. They're not the best. I'd rather have something different, but it's what I've got. That's what I've got to deal with. It's what I had the money for. I do recommend building these shelves like this. It helps a lot. And pardon the uh, camera quality, I'm really shaky today for some reason. But uh, shelves do help a lot with storage stuff. Oh, and my uh, little fire extinguisher, I need to get a new one. I used my other one. Um, I found a little burst fire on the side of the road and hit it with the other one, but I do have that one just as a backup, you know. Uh, and also some WD-40 back here. I do recommend these as well. Helps a lot with storage cans and stuff and some screwdrivers, whatever you're gonna need during the day sits right there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's just, that's my trailer. You know, and my broom, I forgot the broom, but it's, yeah. That's my trailer, my truck's nothing important. I don't keep anything for my lawn carry in there other than my, uh, my log book. But yeah, I mean, all my equipment was pretty much purchased this year. It's my second year in business and I kind of upgraded from Craftsman to Steel and Echo. I am gonna run Echo straight at one point other than my uh, Cobalt equipment. I will keep my Cobalt battery equipment because it's kind of cheap to replace the batteries. But if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks.